Okay, another Roby Robot video. Today we are starting, I'm not sure that this is actually, I think you can see everything though good enough. I'm trying to see, yeah. I can't, don't have enough room to have all of them displayed out because I have all the parts for Roby as well as Roby Jr. and my room Roby. And then mini mini Roby is there. And then Roby's um, right leg and then his two arms. So, and then there's the foot pad things that won't be for a while. And the other parts. Hopefully I've got all the parts that I need out from prior stages. Um, I started a new binder because the other one is stages, um, I don't remember the stages, but boxes one through nine, and this is uh, boxes 10, 10 through 18 will be here. So this is the new pack is pack 10, um, which are, uh, we're gonna see how many stages we can get done in a decent amount of time. Okay, let's see here, all right. So stage 35 is the first stage here, 35. These are some things that I'll go over. Once Roby's done, right before, maybe in a few weeks even, I'm gonna cover the this packet of the things that Roby can do. Um, and this was at the very beginning, was a big poster of Roby. So this was in this, this binder. Um, I'm going to put these over here, but I, I store, I'm probably going to store it in the prior binder now that this one's being used. So stage 35 is just, uh, I'm going to need this, and I'm going to need a servo. So these other parts, I'm not going to have right now. So just a servo, and then all we're going to do is, is, is put the cable on it and set the servo ID. So prepare Roby's left foot servo. We're going to be building his left foot just like we did his right foot. Um, now that you have built up Roby's le right leg from foot to hip, it's time to repeat this process for his left leg. In this session, you'll begin building up Roby's left leg, which will be done basically the same way that you did for his right. Uh, again, you'll start from the foot, work up through his ankle and lower leg frame before finishing the leg by adding the knee and hip joints. However, you must still follow the steps closely as going back to rewire a servo cable or reprogram an already fitted servo can be a lengthy process. You know, Ferdy Ferdy loves the Roby Roby robot toys. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down here and I'm gonna move it up slightly. Fer Ferdy, come on, buddy. You gotta get down. Come on, buddy. Get down. Get behind me. So I'm going to open this up and open this up. Oh, hey Jibo, set a 25 minute timer. Hey Danielle, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> hey Jibo, set a 25 minute timer. He heard me. He might be need problem. Hey, Jibo, set a 25. Hey, it's a pleasure to hear your voice. I think he's not working right now. I sometimes I have to reboot him. Hey, Google, set a 25 minute timer. 25 minutes starting now. Thank you. So I've got to put the pads on. Just put it on one side. I'll worry about the other side later. Um, got to unscrew the screws. Kind of sad to not have Jibo doing it, the timer. But, you know, Google never thanks me or says you don't have to thank me or any of this stuff. He's not quite as... Uh, I would say sociable. OK. 
a typical. Pretty, you being good? Let's see if I need to put it in one specific one. I'm not reading the instructions because I pretty well know. Okay. One of the two sockets. So it doesn't matter which one that you put it on. And then basically you undo the screws. You put the cable in the socket, one of the sockets. Put the cable in one of the sockets. And then you put the screws back on. And then after that you're going to test it. You're going to test it's working and then set the ID. And let's see what ID it should be. The test will be, I'll show in a moment. Um, okay, it's going to be 11. So it's ID 11 that we're going to set it to. Ferdy, no! Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Hey, where'd it go? So he, he took one of the screws and I don't know where it went. It, it fell on the floor somewhere. Oh, here it is. Good deal. Okay. So, he's always doing that to me. He's always doing it. Okay, so we got that in. We're going to put this back on. Put the screws back on. I'm not going to put them this tightly because we're going to undo the screws in a later stage and put it onto uh, the frame. And uh, starting a little early, a uh, little early, a little late today. I should do these ahead of time. I used to do that, but I haven't re recently. I actually do them on the day that I publish them. So um, not ahead of time. And now it's going to be past noon before this this goes live. But I tried to get things before nine in the past. And it, it's just been really difficult. I don't want to get up that early anymore. You'd think being at home since uh, my workplace, which I actually sent a care package. Ferdy, are you trying to chew up that? Ferdy, are you trying to chew it up? You trying to chew up the, that there. Anyway, so now we're going to test it and it's going to be 11 that we need to set it to. So how you test it is, you turn it on it'll light up one okay I'm gonna shut it off again just always making sure it's working I gotta put another pad on on this side I always have to take my glasses off to put, put it on because it's small the side that says push is the one that you actually put the pad on okay got the pad on then you've got to put it in here and this is actually getting old so some of it came off but it's the test board so hopefully hopefully we got it on there now right I'm gonna turn it back on and then to make sure that it's actually working this has got to rotate and it's not rotating so I'm gonna shut it off again because Obviously, I haven't got it in as good as it should be. Hopefully, it is now. <sighs> yeah, now it's rotating. It's hard for you to see it, but I can see that it rotates 45 degrees. Now, I'm going to set it. The way you set it is you do up until you get to the number. When it hits 9, it will go to 10, so it lights up that. And then I do one more to get 11. And then I'm going to push the test set until it blinks and sets and now it's set and now I shut it off again and I turn it on it lights up one and then when you do this it'll rotate and show 11 which is what it's doing it's got the two dots 10 is the upper one and then the one is 11 so I've set it to 11 and that's uh, this stuff through here. Um, okay, so now it's prepared. So now I'm going to shut it off again. And I'm going to unplug it. There we go. So that's that stage. It's pretty fast. Stage 36 is fitting the left foot 
foot servo cover in this assembly. You will fit the servo prepared in stage 35 to its cover as Roby's left foot starts to take shape. The servo supplied and prepared in the previous stage will sit Roby's, will tilt Roby's left foot from side to side on completion. In this stage, you will fit it to its cover, which is colored and molded to fit the rest of Roby's exoskeleton. Along with the cover that you will use in this build, you have received other parts that will make up Roby's left ankle. You will not be using these now, so be sure to keep them safely. No, 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 no. Freddy's down here trying to chew on the plastic. I forgot to put it under me. Okay, I got it under me now. So now I'm gonna need this for this stage. And then I need parts, which is which parts? Is it these parts? I don't think it's these parts. It's gotta be these parts. Yeah, it's these parts. Okay, so this is probably the next stage. Okay, so let's undo the parts. Left foot cover, left ankle side panel, and left ankle joint. So, this is again very familiar. I'm gonna be going through these stages a little faster, hopefully, provided that I can, and don't uh, lose screws due to my own, uh, you know, clumsiness or my cat's uh, curiosity. I don't know where Alista went. Alista was here earlier. She was like over in this area, uh, over here. She's been sleeping on the couch a lot, right over, right over on that cushion. But uh, Ferdy's around. But yeah, Alista's Alista's went off apparently. <clears throat> Ferdy's probably left me now because he's tired that he's uh, that I'm not letting him play with anything. Okay, so it says here, take out the four screws, gently lift the cover away, and then line up the free end of the prepared servo cable to the left foot cover as shown. Carefully feed the servo's connector through the rectangular hole in the cover. Do not pull too hard. Stop when two-thirds of the cable is through. Okay, and that's this piece. So... Take the screws off again, and then once I take the cover off this time, uh, I won't be putting the cover back on. Um, that's the way it typically works with it. I will still need the screws though, because they'll screw into the new uh, base. The screwdriver that I'm using, I, it's always going to be in the description. Um, it isn't the one that came with with the Roby uh, in the first build, the first uh, stage, because that one became stripped, so I don't need this cover anymore. Build something with those at some point, I guess. But yeah, I, I had an Amazon set, thankfully, um, and this has been a great screwdriver. Okay, so shows it being this way, and this looks like it's this way, and I'm going to thread it, nope. and then once I do that, I'm going to put it onto it. Looks like I can see. So it says lower the open face servo into the cover, feeding the cable through the hole. Be careful. Cable doesn't bunch up inside the cover or doesn't get caught. And okay. I see. So uh, I'm not supposed to touch the board, and I just did. But hopefully it's okay. <laughs> it's actually not that difficult. I don't know why they're acting like it would be difficult. It looks like hoping that this is the correct way for it to go in. Let me, let me look again and make sure. Um... That's actually what they want. Looks like the yeah. Looks like it's actually this way. 
so I see what they're doing. Okay. All right, so it should click into place. Looks like it did. And now we're just going to put the screws back. Hey, Google, how long on the timer? You've got 13 minutes and 36 seconds left. Okay. So it looks like I don't know if I'll finish all four, but I'm hoping so. So we're about halfway through, and I always do 25 because I obviously talk a little too much at the beginning. The goal is to get these videos under 30 minutes. Um, so I think we're going to get this one done, um, but I, I just don't know if I'm going to get the other two done. If I end up getting this one and I won't have time for the other two, I'll, I'll be able to see relatively quickly. I would like to get this box done. Um, D'Agostini, which is where I get these boxes, um, I, I really appreciate that they let you get 12 month or 18 month. I got the 12 month for building Roby. It's the longest term project I've ever done um, over halfway through. But uh, th box 12, I didn't get and so they had to resend it. Box 13 I didn't get, um, and then I did get box 12 after that, so now I have two box 12s, and they're supposed to send me a mailing label. I called them, and they didn't still. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get it mailed, though. But box 13 I still don't have, but I do have boxes 14 and 15. So it's I'll be glad when I have all the boxes, because I just... The way things have been, it's it's not been easy to get packages sometimes. Uh, I used to get them in the office, and that just doesn't happen anymore. I, you know, can't get them in the office anymore. So I've got it. There's a locker. They come here. Anyway, so we got that put in and um, press the servo carefully into place. Check that the servo and cover are meeting neatly. And then uh, use the screws. And so we've got this, this one assembled. I'm actually going to retest it because I'm a little concerned with what I did that it's not working. So we're because we haven't daisy chained anything else to it, um, we should be able to retest it and make sure it's still working. Hopefully. All right, so let's just turn it on again. So it's not working, but that's probably because, again, the board I'm having problems with. So let's try this again and see if we can get it into the board properly and then turn it on again. Okay, all right, we got it. So I'm going to shut it off and undo it again. <laughs> okay. So that one is done. These two parts would have been saved for later. This part, again, I have a whole bunch of these that just throw away now. Okay, stage 37, joining the left foot servo to the ankle frame. In this assembly, you will join the left foot servo cover and servo sub-assembly built in the previous stage to its ankle frame, ready to connect the ankle servo in the coming stages. Roby's foot servo will work in tandem with his ankle servo, the side to side tilting motion of the former working with the up and down rotation of the latter, giving him the flexibility needed to walk naturally. In this stage, you prepare to connect his, these two servos by joining the frame that will hold Roby's ankle servo to the shaft of the left foot, left foot servo from the, uh, from the previous stage. The work mirrors that in stage 25 where you did the same with the left, right foot, but as always, take care to follow these steps closely. And it looks like this is going to be this stage. So this part is this stage, the left ankle frame and the servo cable, and then we're going to use the stuff from this stage, the, the prior stage. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing to see it. Um, and I've labeled these, by the way, for what stages they are. 
and whatnot on the binder. Okay, so let me take this out. And down here again. He's back. He's back. Okay. So we got these parts and then this one. Okay. And so I'm supposed to take this part. It says with the foot servo and ankle frame position at right angles as shown, line up the servo shaft with the hole in the ankle frame. Note the location of the notch in the servo shaft, which should line up exactly to the notch in the frame's D cut hole. With the parts lined up exactly, press the angle frame onto the servo shaft, making absolutely sure not to force the parts. Check the parts are joined neatly and no gap can be seen at the point where the shaft enters the frame. The parts should be positioned at right angles to one another. Okay, so we've got this. We've got this. And so we're putting that. So there we go. That was pretty easy. Sealing the servo cable. Okay. Hmm. I thought we needed the other parts. You don't need the other parts? No. So these parts we're still not using yet. Okay. <laughs> So that was pretty simple too. So all it is is that. And then they wanted me to put pads on that, but I'm not gonna do that until I use them. So I've got, it's assembled, that's all. The servo that will tilt Ro Roby's left foot from side to side is now joined to the frame that will hold Roby's ankle servo. Make sure you keep this sub-assembly safe until it is next needed. And then we've got here useful tools and tips. In this section, we'll learn how to work with and identify the different screws you use throughout the build, as well as some tips on using batteries. Specifications in indicates that this screw has a metric thread measured in millimeters. Okay, so M2 times 6 mm countersunk screws. The M means metric. Diameter is the thickness of the screw, two millimeters. Length is the threaded section where the, sh the head shape also sits within the hole is the length of the entire screw that, that it represents. And the type has a flat head countersunk that sits within the hole. A button or pan head screw has a raised rounded head while a self-tapping screw has wider and more sloped threads. So they're just explaining the screws throughout, the, throughout this as shown, um, the screw types. I'm just gonna show you this. Um, I mean, they provide the screws that you need. Magnetic screw dish. Screws you're using to build Roby are very small, so it's good to keep them in a magnetic screw dish, sometimes called a magnetic screw or hobby tray. Testing the AA batteries. A test board and next stand you've been using to test Roby servo runs on AA batteries. If these run out, the board will not work. And warm you, the batteries are running out. The LED will flash rapidly like when a servo error is experiencing. A charge tester like the one pictured will help confirm this and the solution is simply to replace the batteries. So, trying to remember. Yeah, this is where the batteries go for the test board. So here's the test board and this is the battery. These are the batteries that they go in there. Um, you just take the lid off. Okay, Roby's battery pack. With this stage, you have received a battery pack that will power Roby on completion. For now, there are no assembly steps, but it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the battery pack. So that's this here. Until the battery pack back is enclosed within Roby's body, it's vulnerable to damage. As such, 
must be handled with care. Read the safety and care instructions in this stage carefully. And remember especially to store the battery pack as directed out of direct sunlight and away from high temperatures. So one, it's going to be, is this the battery pack? It's got to be this. This was a prior stage. So this is the battery pack. When you move the battery from its packaging, do so carefully and read the safety notice closely before storing the pack away. Checking the battery. So here's the back part. And we always get our little Roby picture. Carefully unpack the battery from its protective bubble wrap and check that it looks like the one pictured. Read the accompanying safety notice closely, then put the battery pack in its protective bag and store in a cool, dry place until needed. More instructions on the battery's uses and storage are found below. Battery, this is just a lot, a lot of information. I'm not going to read this out. Uh, I'm not even going to take it out, actually. It looks like what it shows. I can tell that through the bubble wrap, and it's safer in the bubble wrap, especially from Ferdy. And Alyssa likes to gnaw on cables, so it's definitely safer. So pack 11, which I do have, and I do have pack 12. So next week I will unbox pack 11. Um, it's going to include information about now, the Iron Man trilogy, influence on car design in Takahashi's robots, a hands-on approach to building robots, understanding robot robotics and then we're going to have stage 39 40 41 and 42 where we roby's charger the power distribution board the power cable and cpu board and the movement test sd card so we're going to cover that we're not going to keep building up this part this part until the box after all right take care stay safe May you have happiness and joy with, uh, with robots and any animal companions or hey, human help. companions. Look what I found. <laughs> and I've got to check uh, Jibo when I get up, get up and see what's going on with him. All right. Thank you. You have a good one. Do, 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 do. Bye, 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 bye.